So far, we have been declaring variables using the let keyword. But at the beginning of the course, I briefly mentioned that there is another way to declare variables using the var keyword. And you may see this in a lot of JavaScript code online. In this lecture, we're going to look at the var keyword. You're going to learn about the problems with the var and why you should avoid it. So let's start by defining a function, start. Here we're going to have a loop let i equal to zero. We're going to run this loop five times. And in each iteration, we're going to display i on the console. Now let's call the start function, save the changes. So we get number zero to four. Now in the last lecture, you learned that i is only accessible inside this block. So if we try to log i outside of this block, we're going to get an error. I is not defined. Now I just want to clarify something. We still have the same concept if I remove this curly braces, because here we have a single statement. So the scope of I is still this block here. Okay, so save the changes. We still get the same error. However, let's see what happens when we replace let with var. Save the changes. What happened to our error? So it turns out that i is accessible outside of this for block. So in the last iteration, i becomes 5. Because 5 is not less than 5, so the loop terminates. And here on line 6, we're displaying the current value of i. So this is the issue with the var keyword. When you declare a variable with var, its scope is not limited to the block in which it's defined. It's limited to the function in which it's defined. And this is not how most or all programming languages out there work. It's one of those weird things in JavaScript that we have had for a long time. So before ES6, var was the only way to declare variables and constants. Starting from ES6, also called ES2015, now we have two new keywords, let and const, to define variables and constants. These two keywords create, block, scoped, variables, but var creates function scoped variables. Let's take a look at another example. So in this for loop, let's add a code block here. Now I'm going to add an if statement. Now in the if block, I'm going to declare a variable using var, color set it to red. Now technically, in almost all programming languages out there, this variable should only be accessible in this block. But because we have used var, color is accessible anywhere in this function. So at the end of this function, we can log color, save the changes. Look, we get red here. But if we replace var with let, we get an error because color is not accessible here. And that's how most languages work. So this is the first problem with the var keyword. The second issue is with global variables. So let's delete all the code here. I'm going to declare two variables, one with var, color, we set it to red, and one with let. Let's say age and set it to 30. Save the changes. Now, when we use var outside of a function, this creates a global variable and attaches that global variable to the window object in browser. So in browsers, we have this window object, which is a complex object with lots of properties and methods. When you want to build front-end applications, you're going to work with this window object a lot. Now, what matters here is this var keyword attaches this color variable to the window object. So if we type window dot, look, our color variable is here. In contrast, when we use the let keyword, to define a global variable, that global variable is not attached to the window object. So if we type window.age, you can see it's undefined. So why is it bad to attach a variable to the window object? Well, because window object is something central, there is only one instance of the window object. And let's say you're using a third party library. If that third party library also has a variable with the same name, that variable can overwrite your variable. So you should avoid adding stuff to the window object. Otherwise, you're going to create all sorts of issues in your programs. 
Now, for a curious developer, I need to mention that when we define a function, let's say, say hi, this function is technically a global function and is added to the window object. So let me save the changes. If we type window dot say hi, see, our function is here, so we can call it. So technically, this is a global function. It's attached to the window object, and that is bad practice. But how can we prevent this? Well, later in the course where I talk about modules, you will learn how to encapsulate these functions in separate modules so they are not added to the window object. So here's what I want you to take away from this lecture. Avoid using the var keyword because it creates variables that are function scoped, not block scoped. Hi guys, thank you for watching my JavaScript tutorial. This tutorial is part of my JavaScript course where you will learn all the essential JavaScript features that every web and mobile application developer must know. If you're an absolute beginner or have some experience in JavaScript and are looking for a fun and in-depth course that teaches you the fundamentals of JavaScript, this course is for you. This course is also packed with tons of exercises that help you master what you learned in the course. In fact, many of these exercises are questions that come up in technical programming interviews. So if you're pursuing a job as a front-end or a back-end developer, or if you simply want to have a more in-depth understanding of JavaScript, I highly encourage you to enroll in the course. For a limited time, you can get this course with a discount using the link in the video description. Click the link to find out more about the course and enroll.